Hello everyone, and welcome to three mistakes federal employees make with their EEO claims and how to avoid them. If you are a federal employee who filed an EEO claim, this video is for you. If you are new to my channel, be sure to like and subscribe below. Now let's begin. Ever wonder why so many federal employees lose their EEO claims? There are three key reasons. One, they don't understand the rules, the law, and agency policy. Two, they don't document the discrimination effectively. Three, they drop their claims in response to agency retaliation and unnecessary delays in the process. Mistake one, not knowing the rules. Don't you know the rules? What rules? You don't... Jesus Christ, you don't know the rules? Uh, have an aneurysm, why don't you? There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. Employees need to know the EEO rules, agency policies, and federal human resources laws. It is critical to understand the agency's rules. They can be found in your agency's manual, the union bargaining agreement, if you have a union, your specific position description, which is provided to OPM, and the annual expectation document, which you are given before your annual review. These tools are essential to your survival of the EEO process. The EEO rules can be found in Management Directive 110, also known as MD 110, in the Code of Federal Regulations, Part 29 CFR, Section 1614, and in the EEOC Guidelines on the EEO website. The Federal Human Resources Rules are also part of the law. They can be found in the Code of Federal Regulations, the Office of Personnel Management's website, Presidential Memorandums, and the Prohibited Personnel Practices found in Part 5 of the United States Code, Section 2302B. Mistake two is not documenting the discrimination effectively. There are many ways to document discrimination. Emails, texts, screenshots, notes, memorandums, journal entries, photos. These methods of documenting discrimination will later become evidence. Whatever you do, don't record or video anything inside a government facility unless you speak to an attorney. At a bare minimum, send an email to the person harassing you. Highlight the actions taken, explain how it violates policy or the law, tell the agency employee that it is upsetting you, and ask them to stop. Mistake three, abandoning your claim. Every part of the federal sector EEOC process is designed to make you give up. Keep hiding, but me, I choose to run toward my problems and not away from them. That's what it is. Because that's what heroes do. If you give up, the agency's employees will still discriminate against you you will still experience retaliation, but you'll lose any chance at justice. If you are frustrated by the process, you can complain to your congressman, ask your union for help, or go to the media. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video makes it easier for you to participate in the EEO process. If you have any questions or comments, please include them below. I will respond to everything. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Goodbye for now, and I hope you'll join me for my next video.